beach. Open that. Oh, you fucking... Oh, oh. Zombies. Wait, was this? Oh, okay. Grenade launcher. Oh, Miss Zombies. Not that time. Oh, what are they doing back? Oh, what's he doing there? I can't escape that. What the fuck? No. Fuck it. Get, no, get in there. Get in there. Run. Where am I? I was back at the beginning. F6. Fuck it. We'll be alright. Shambler! Run away like footman. Avoid the toothpaste beam. He's fighting his own dude. Lol. That's one thing about um, old first person games as well. Enemies do not like being hit by other enemies. I swear down. You think it's bad in like Counter Strike and shit, you know, when you accidentally shoot somebody and they turn around and headshot you? Well, that's pretty much what enemies do in old first person games. They shoot each other and they're like, you motherfucker, and turn around and start eating each other. It's pretty funny. Quiet. Too quiet. What's in there? I can't see you. A fucking shambler, man! Oh my god! Fuck! I can't avoid the toothpaste beam of death! I can avoid that toothpaste! It's fucking Colgate style, man! What the fuck? <sighs> Rocket launcher. Where's this quick save? Where am I? Oh, no, okay, fair enough. F6. Right. Shambler, man! Oh! No, that's cheating, is that, man? I'm gonna fucking grenade launch him first, then. Right. It locks that door, man. It sucks. Oh, come on, Shambler, man. It's just suicide to run into my grenade launcher. Learn some skill. Right. Rocket launcher. And two down, right. Okay, right. Okay, I've got it this time, right. That door closes as well, which doesn't help. I thought, keep thinking that's my exit. Oh, that was lucky. Never mind. F6. I oh, know I've only got a foot in but fuck it. Is that the exit? It is! 19 seconds! That's fucking time for you there, guys. I know it, felt, it feels like longer, doesn't it? But to be honest, that's just me talking. I always make... It just seems longer when you're around me. F6. It was actually only 19 real seconds, but yeah, I always managed to make it feel longer. Okay, go back here. No. Not picking up that yet. Fuck that. What do you think? I'm stupid. I'm gonna look around first. Check out the elevator. Let me shit. There's nothing to fucking pick up. You ready for the first boss, guys? There he is. I throw shit at you. Which are pretty much rocket launchers. It's coming for me. Very slowly, but still coming for me. No, as if that's why you need to quick save as well, guys. If you die, you start with just your shotgun and shit like that. It can be fucking death sentence, can that? You got the room. You got the power. Get around that. Oh no way. Fucking lucky. James into thing. You know what? I'm gonna go in it from this way. Just wee! 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 Sweet! Nice. Very nice. 
congratulations. Congratulations. Celebrations. As the corpse of the monstrous entity, Ch Chiffon? Fon? Chiffon? Or whatever. Sinks back into the lava whence it rose. You grip the rune of earth magic tightly. Now that you have conquered the dimension of the doomed, realm of earth magic, you are ready to wait for the rest of it. You are ready to complete your task. Wait for the rest of it? Oh my god. I need to patch this and make it like scroll faster. I'm gonna I'm gonna send that idea an email. A rune of magic power lies at the end of each haunting land of quake. Go forth! Seek the totality of the four runes. I shall indeed. And there you go. Punch you back over here. And you've done that one. Can't get back in there anymore. I can't get back in. <coughs> no, you can't get back in again. My weapons! <coughs> fucking hell! I've only got a fucking shotgun and an axe. <coughs> Thing. Thing. I remember playing a mod, and I've still not seen it since actually. I remember playing a mod back in Quake World days, and the only weapon you had was an axe. And you go around, and depending where you hit people, so if you hit them in the arm, it take their arm off, and they won't be able to use their axe then. So they'd just be walking around with just legs and a head and a body. But if you hit them in the legs, it take one of the legs off, so they're just like hobbling around you, moving right slow, just like hobbling away like that kind of speed. And if you could hit him in the head, chop their head off and they were dead, etc. But we were very good at like, I can't remember what we're called now. It's not like a dismemberment mod or something like that, but we were pretty sweet actually. Good idea. Quake, I mean, that was one of the things when Quake came out, it was just like, holy fucking shit. Not only is it 3D compared to like, say, Doom or Duke Nukem, where it was like, it was 2D. I mean, I know it's 3D, but it's, it's actually 2D in it. There's no. Well, it's kind of like, if you look at a Doom Marine from the front, or no, just take it, say, a Medikit from the front. You see it from the front. If you look at it from a diagonal, it's still staring right at you. If you look at it from the side, it's still staring right at you. It just spins around to look at you, doesn't it? And even if it doesn't spin around to look at you... That, that, there's two ways of doing it. The item either spins with you and looks at you, or it's got like eight directions. So if you can imagine like a D-pad, you've got up, down, left, right, and the diagonals, aren't you? Up, left, up, right, down, left, down, right, and there'd be a... Um, a sprite for each one of those directions based on where you're looking at it. That, that was kind of like how they did it. I mean, it wasn't really 3D at all. And the, it, But I guess they're kind of talking about the maps being 3D, but even the maps, I mean, kind of. But but Quake came along and it was like fully 3D. It's like, yeah, fucking 3D. Not only that, it just, I mean, even now, I mean, let's say I was playing Undying recently. I mean, Undying doesn't feel bad, but you can tell that it's an old game. But Quake 1 still feels nice, and this is Quake this is Quake 1 as well, not Quake World. Quake World feels really nice still. But this was like... This is really fucking old, but yeah, it still feels nice to play. And same with Quake 2, and it's the same with Quake 3. They all feel good, it just... It, it's a tribute to the engine that even... Tens of years... Not tens of years later, but... More than ten years later that it still feels a good game. It's, I mean... Granted, this isn't actually how it looks. It's um, an updated um, version of Quake, but it still looks passable. It certainly looks more passable than um, like Juice X and Thief does. It really does, and it certainly feels a lot better than those two do as well. It really does. Not like I'm dissing those two, but I'm just saying that in regards to like old games, kind of like uh, not stacking up. See, that's the thing. Like you can play like Mega Man on NES or something like that, or an old NES game. It still plays well now, it looks passable now, it's just that kind of like old vintage look for it. But 3D games from this kind of era don't age as well in my opinion. Games that have come out in the last like, what, 5 to 8 years, something like that, 3D game wise, they'll still always be passable in regard. It'll be vintage look, they'll not look great, but they'll still be passable. Whereas, um, some of the like, the older 3D games don't have quite that passable um, look in my opinion. And especially in the feel of them, they're not as possible. But then again, it's kind of like saying Space Invaders, like, it's a bit like... Yeah, it's a bit like Space Invaders, I guess. I mean, Space Invaders don't exactly stack up well compared to, say, 